Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to explain Process Builder, a wonderful tool every Salesforce developer must know. Let's not waste time, here we go. By end of this video, you will be able to understand actions that Process Builder can do and you will be able to figure it out when to use Process Builder instead of workflow or a trigger for a given scenario. What is a Process Builder? It is a tool provided by Salesforce. Why it is used? To automate your business process without writing a single line of code. Hey, who are you? I am a Salesforce admin, I don't know how to code. Don't worry brother, you don't need to know coding to play with Process Builder. Process Builder can be invoked in two ways. When a record is created or edited and when another process calls, which means when a record is created or edited, you can perform any one action, combination of actions or all of these actions. I will explain each one of these actions with examples for a better understanding. Hey, you again, what happened? You want to create an order record when opportunity is closed one and amount greater than 5 million. Okay, process builder can help you on this. Out of all these actions, create new record will serve your purpose. Don't worry, I will explain you with an example. Type process builder here and click on process builder. It will navigate to a page where you can see list of all processes. Click on new. Type a process name. Process builder demo. Demo. API name is automatically filled. Actions of process builder. The process starts when a record, which means when a record is created or edited. Now click on save. Now you will be navigated to this well designed page where everything you need to select step by step. Now click on add object. Our requirement is when an opportunity is closed one and new order should be created. So object will be obviously opportunity. And uh, of course this process will be when a record is created or edited. Now go and click on save. Give criteria name is equal to the conditions. Stage is equal to closed one and stage is equal to closed one and amount greater than 5 million. If you do this it will be useful, I mean it will be easy for you to see. Uh, what is the condition by seeing the criteria name itself. Now select the field. You need to set the conditions now. Stage equals closed one. Second row, add row and then give amount. Amount choose currency 5 million. 5, 6, zeros. And first condition is stage name equals closed one. Second one amount equals 5 million. So it should be greater than. Yeah, this is what our admin asked. 5 million. So it is uh, stage equals closed one and uh, opportunity greater than 5 million. So on this condition, he needs a record should be created. Now click save. Okay, our criteria got set. Now select the action. So we have seen all the actions, right? These are the list of actions, out of which we need to select create record. Action name, uh, create an order, create order record. And record type obviously should be order. Order, yeah. Now it will ask for default values. Start date, status and account ID. So start date. Date you need to mention. Either it can be a date, field reference or a formula. Field reference in the sense, uh, the field value which it comes from the opportunity. The opportunity which invoke this action. We can select formula where we can give uh, today's date. 
to date open okay, cause use this formula and then this object of updated and status we can directly give a big list value trapped and account id you can fetch this from opportunity id so field reference and click on it opp need to select account id account id yes. choose now click save so the criteria is fixed so once it is the closed one we need to create an action so create order record is an action so in that order action we have given the default values so now everything is done click on activate see the configuration is so easy click confirm and then this is gone live we just need to test now click on opportunities select any one opportunity so uh, it been asked for closed one opportunity and amount greater than 5 million so go to stage change it to closed one and uh, okay amount click on it uh, we'll make 5 lakh 55 so 5 5 yeah we already got it 5 5 and click on save so you check the date last modified you need to check the last modified date uh, 11 13 217 and 11 2 pm okay now we need to check the orders click on order step our uh, latest one 119 and uh, order created start date last one fight it's the same time status drop start date 11 13 see so easy once uh, when an opportunity is closed one and five million we have created an order see as simple as that I think our admin will be happy now. What? Come on admin, you are full of problems. Now what is it? Uh, submit for approval when opportunity is closed one and amount greater than 5 million US dollars. Can process builder help me? Of course it can. It's the same criteria but you want uh, submit for approval. It's easy. So out of the actions which you can see, submit for approval action will help you. Don't worry admin, I will show you a demo. To create this process, first of all we need an approval process. So let's quickly create a approval process. Approval process, click approval process. Create new approval, standard. Give process name, process builder, demo. Next. Uh, we need to set the criteria. These criteria conditions should be very similar to the criteria which we have given in process builder so i want to greater than 5 million and stage stage equal to this post one close one it's selected Let's click on next and uh, select manager next and we need to select an email template here i have already created a custom email template opportunity created select it go next leave the default values <coughs> as it is save it will ask for steps create an approval step now yes give some random values uh, log the record and next all record should enter this criteria click next Leave the defaults as it is. Click on save. Now we'll be creating a task once an approval is created. We'll be creating a task. And we need to assign it to some user. Click and assign it to Shritan here in this case. Now I will set the subject. Uh, big opportunity created. Big opportunity created. And unique name. Uh, due date uh, should be closed date. Plus, uh, plus, oh no, no, it should be created date. Created date plus 30 days. So, within 30 days of opportunity, it should be created. Uh, opportunity has to be addressed. That's what the idea is. Uh, okay, one save. So, we have created the opportunity. One last step has left. Click on activate. Activate. Okay. Now, we are having an option approval process which will be used in this process.
now that approval process is created we'll go and uh, create this process builder action click on process builder open our uh, will open our existing process builder demo click so this follows versionings so click on process builder demo we need to add action here but as you can see nothing is editable because once it is activated it will be in readable only mode so we need to clone it so that a new version will be created click on save a new version created and we can add action here click on add action action type uh, submit for approval and you uh, uh, submit for approval and submit for approval to manager hmm. specific approval process we need to select our approval process process builder demo and click on save and see as simple as that we got two actions and then click on activate now we are good to go we'll test this functionality now back to setup open an opportunity we'll open the existing opportunity on the laptop and then i will change the amount uh, by point per it we'll make it six six now click on save it should go for approval one yes yes and it is assigned to my manager test as i am sysadmin i can approve this record by clicking on approve reject type approved approved i will click on approve as this record is approved this will be in read only mode we need to click on unlock record to unlock this record so that a user can actually edit it are you sure okay and then this record will allow us to edit see the edit button appears now yeah that's all i think he will be happy now at least uh oh come on it mean you will never be happy so what is it now we want to post to chatter when opportunity is closed one and amount between 2 million and 5 million oh you change the criteria very nice okay let's do it same drill again process builder click on process builder it will navigate to your page where you can see all the process click here and we'll see two versions we'll click the latest version and then as you can see everything is in read only mode to edit it we need to clone it so that a new version will be created click on save now you can edit it we need to add a new criteria why because admin changed the criteria to closed one and amount should be in between 5 million and 2 million so we need to add a new criteria so first condition doesn't satisfy here we need to add the new criteria criteria name stage is equal to same we we need to give the conditions as criteria so it would be easy and amount is equal to greater than 2 and amount less than equal to 5 m usd to m okay we'll set the conditions now stage equals closed one we need to add two conditions here one more amount greater than two six zero seven two three four five six and amount choose less than or equals five zero 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 huh. and click on save now we need to add an action what is that action he wants to post to chatter when this condition is satisfied so post to chatter when for closed one and amount between 2 million and 5 million USD post to 
record we can post user or chat groups also i'm choosing record so we can uh, give the post text here so a new opportunity created with amount we'll select the amount we can actually use match fields amount choose we'll give the opportunity name as well created where we will put opportunity name and then choose we'll give the account also for which account we got the opportunity for account we'll give the account name as well so it will be match fill second account id first one and then we'll give the name here choose so we'll remove account text and click on save now i think everything is done we'll activate it see less than two minutes again configuration is so simple with process builder we'll go back to setup and then open opportunity we'll open the same opportunity 100 laptops and we'll change the amount uh stage is already closed one so if amount is in between two lakh to five sorry two million to five million this has to trigger so click on save and it should appear here in the chat okay because we have asked for chatter a new opportunity created for opportunity with amount for account so the first one is the opportunity name american banking corporation 100 laptops and 4 million is the amount which we have got it from match fields see as simple as that hmm i knew you will come back let's see what you got now you want to send an email to opportunity owner when opportunity is closed one and amount rather than 2 million and 5 million. Yeah, it's the same criteria, but you want to send an email now. Out of all these actions, only email alert will serve your purpose. Okay, let's see the demo. Same drill again. Process builder. Click on process builder. Now we'll see the list of process. Click on the latest version. Click. And as you people already understood, everything will be read only. We need to clone it, save, and we need to we have, for the same criteria. We need to add a new action, add an action. So admin asked for an email alert on the same criteria. I will give email uh, to no e alert and uh, select any email alert. So I already created one email alert by default. There is opportunity created. Click on save uh, and we got our email alert. Activate less than a minute, it is too fast. Go back to setup. So, to trigger this email alert, conditions are stage closed one and amount is between 2 million and 5 million. So, even the satisfying the criteria, we'll just trigger it out by change the value by 3 and then click on save it should trigger so this is the email which we got zero minutes ago hello shrika new opportunity has been created regard salesforce yeah that's all see very easy let's see what our admin got now hey you are full of problems brother what is it now you want to update child opportunity products when opportunity is closed lost so basically you want to update your child records fair enough out of these actions update relative records will do the magic okay same steps again set up process builder process builder you can see all the processes Click on process builder demo, latest is fourth version. As you know, it is read only mode. We need to clone it. We need to add a criteria here. So we first will clone it, save it, and add criteria. So what is the criteria now? He said when stage is closed, lost, he needs his chair records to be updated opportunities chair records to be updated so stage 
choose equals close lost save simple and what is the action now action type update records so update all opportunity products record type what kind of record type obviously which is related to opportunity and we can select any relative record type now opportunity line items the api name is opportunity line items no criteria so what are the fields that we want to update so on chain records we want description to change with opportunity is closed lost so all the chain records description will be updated with opportunity is closed lost that's our criteria and activate ta da done confirm back to setup we'll test this criteria how it is working so when it is closed lost all the chain records line description has to be change it to opportunity is closed lost as simple as that this opportunity holds any products uh oh it doesn't it doesn't have any products it seems we'll add one product cancel product one product three select quantity we'll give two to save and then we'll try to make it this yeah line description is empty as you can see now we'll make it closed lost closed and lost okay save now both the child records line description has to be changed see opportunity is closed lost simple very easy right hey you got it out what is it what kind of relative records can we update using process builder it's a very 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 good doubt it can update both parent records and child records which is having both master detail and lookup relationships hey you got a new problem good good you want to update few child records of opportunity when opportunity is closed lost can your process builder help me out of course it can help you out it has two ways to solve this issue one update relative records two calling an apex class for learning perspective i will show you how to do this with apex class okay to do this we need to create a new class apex class so public class process builder invocation so our motto is to update few child records which will satisfy some criteria when opportunity is closed lost so it should be public static void and method so a parameter is will take only primitive types or list of primitive types as of now we are taking opportunity ids so we'll get this opportunity id we will run a query on this opportunity ids list of opportunity line item opp line id must to be updated is equal to select select id is uh, i have a namespace my out has a namespace here so 007 underscore score is deactivated so basically we'll make this deactivated checkbox to true if it is closed lost which means all the child records which satisfy some condition will make it deactivated where so we have a, a service price field service price greater than 1000 10000 and id in id opportunity id in so the id is which we got it as a parameter in colon opp ids we are done with our opportunity item updated and we are running a for loop on this and we are making it to true and finally we are updating it here so we are done with our class now we'll go to process builder and we'll see how it is working process builder 
click on process builder it will open in processes click on the latest version and we need to add a new action here because there was already a condition closed lost we need to add the action action type is of course apex now update selected child records apex class so process builder invocation it is not visible here huh so the thing is we need to make our class method as invocable with an annotation called invocable method so if you add that annotation then it will be visible for process builder so we'll add this invocable method annotation invocable method save now it should reflect here if it is not reflecting for you just refresh the page add row so this is to add parameters so that method is having off ids which we need to send the opportunity id of which of the record which this process got invoked from and then save and done we need to activate this and then we'll test it now go back to any opportunity 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 yeah. uh farmers corporation of florida so we'll see the products first so products sales price are only two is having sales price greater than 10,000 and line description is empty is that the activated is empty so if we make it close lost two of the op line opportunities should be deactivated let's go down and check the values if you see is deactivated for two line items is deactivated is true because sales price is greater than 10,000 for both the products and line description for all the three has been populated because we have other action right update relative records that also has run at the same time and that action populated line description and the class apex class action has activated this two line items that's all hey it seems you're impressed i love this process builder is there anything that process builder cannot do of course even though process builder is an awesome tool it still have its limitations let's see what are they things that we cannot do with process builder are deleting records outbound messages cloning a record updating unrelated records we'll see one by one so first one is deleting records so we cannot actually delete records from process builder but there is an alternative one is with close one with apex so in apex you can write a code to delete the records and you can call that apex class from the process builder so from the flows you can do this similar thing you can call flows from process builder we'll be discussing how to call flows from process builder in next tutorials next output outbound messages it has an alternate to workflows and apex so as you know the only thing that process builder cannot do and workflow can do is outbound messages you can send outbound messages from apex as well and now cloning a record cloning a record cannot be done with process builder as of now the alternative is apex and finally updating unrelated records from process builder you can only update a relative records either parent or child that to master detail or a lookup but it cannot update unrelated records so that you can do with either flows or from apex and here is the chart of capability so if you can't do a requirement with workflow it can be done with process builder it can't be done with process builder a flow or a visual workflow can do it if it can't be done with that flow or work visual workflow then you can go with trigger you got no option over there and here are some of the recommendations deactivate any workflow or process having similar conditions else it will leads to inconsistent results use proper naming conventions in conditions or actions condition is equal to amount greater than 5 million quotient 
action is equal to update primary is equal to true if you put this kind of things you don't need to open any action or criteria to see what it exactly mean by naming by seeing the name itself you will understand what is the condition which you have given and perform a bulk load test to see your process working properly or not and thank you so much if you like this video give a thumbs up